Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. It's Wednesday. Um, you know, what a great week it's been. You know, uh, West Ham, you know, playing some lovely football. News that players are coming back. Um, it's just a great, great thing, you know. Uh, question I was asked for today is quite relevant, you know, in terms of what's happening recently. For the Everton game, um, obviously I'll do a preview later in the week. Um, would I go Lanzini or if Dex is fit, does Dex go straight back in for me? It's a good question, you know, a couple of other channels have, you know, done something very similar. Um, listen, Lanzini was fantastic uh, Monday night in that role. We've seen him play there a couple of times in the past, you know. I remember him playing there um, in that quarterback role a few times. And he always looks good. He's good on the ball. He turns quick. He can get out of trouble. Um, and his passing is fantastic in that midfield, you know, to, you know, look up and it's bomb, it's done. You know, it's uh, on the left, on the right, through the centre. He's a very, very clever-minded player. Um, and, you know, and he's he's not been given much of a chance this year. You know, barring his moment against Tottenham, you know, there's not much that sticks out with what he's done this year. But, you know, that was a top, top performance when needed. Um, Declan Rice, um, you know, has been out for a couple of games and we have missed him. You know, we've missed all the big boys, you know, Antonio, um, Cresswell, Ogbonna. There's four games left. That's what I'll say. There's four big games left, massive games. You know, win three of them, you're potentially going to be a Champions League team next season. Win four of them, probably you're definitely going to be. Um, we need our world-class players out on the pitch. Um, and Declan Rice is world-class. He is, he's, you know, he's arguably one of the best CDMs in the Premier League. Um... Everton are a different different kettle of fish to Burnley. No disrespect to Burnley, but you know they haven't got the ball players and and that little bit of skill in midfield that can cause you damage. Um, and you know we need some someone who's been obviously held back slightly due to Dex injury is Big Tom. You know Big Tom's had to do the shift defensively. Um, you know doing Nobles running. Um, Covering for Lanzini, you know, it's sort of a role reversal in terms of Socek played the Rice role um, and Lanzini played the Socek role with the more attacking style of play. Um, so for me, for, for the Everton game, Declan Rice, if fit, has to start. Um, he's, you know, he's just so good at breaking up the play. I, I just, you know, he's just such joy, a joy to watch him do what he does. And like I say, with Dex coming back, it frees up Tom, you know, to start doing him runs again, you know, and start getting in the box. He hasn't been getting in the box as much because he can't. Um, and we need that, you know, we need our best 11 out there for these four games. Um, you know, people can argue saying, oh, you know, would you risk him? He's only just come back for it. I would. You know, at the end of the day, these opportunities that to get Champions League football, they don't come up a lot, especially for West Ham. And you need, you know, everyone there. You need Cresswell, you need Sochek, you need Rice. Um, you need your Bonner back, hopefully, as well. Antonio's back. Lingard's fit. You know, all of them are fit at the right time. We've got over this little hump, um, you know, of having a bit of a thin squad and a couple of dodgy results with Newcastle and Chelsea. Um, you know, and the players might just all be back at the right time. So I would 100% be going Declan Rice back in the team um, if he's fit. And, you know, how great is it to have... Lanzini to come off the bench. Um, who knows with Bowen and Ben Rama? I think Ben Rama done enough to you know earn another start in the Everton game. Um, what Moyes thinks, who knows? But it's nice to have these problems. It's good to have the. Am I going to go Bowen? Am I going to go Ben Rama? Am I going to go Lee Lanzini? Am I going to go Rice? Um, it keeps Carlo Ancelotti guessing. It keeps the opposition managers guessing. They're not sure which players they're going to be coming up against. And that's what you want. You want teams needing to adapt to us rather than us adapting to them. Um, you know, if Antonio's fit for the rest of the season, fingers crossed, you know, he's going to score goals against anyone. He's just such a nuisance. And if he doesn't score, he creates such a nuisance that it frees up space for Lingard and Ben Ramas and Bowens and Lanzini's to do their magic, you know. Um... Yeah, so the question was, Lanzini or Declan Rice? For me, sadly, Manu, mate, Declan Rice has to be the one that goes in purely because we need world-class players.
to get into a world-class competition. Let me know what you guys think, if you think I'm a little bit harsh. Any questions for the rest of the week, please put them in. I'm off for a few days now, so I can do some a uh, few live streams, which would be great. Um, you know, build up to the game tomorrow, so if you want to come on tomorrow, uh, you know, join me for the live stream, and we'll, we'll have a little chat about the Everton game and how important that is. Until next time, guys, and until tomorrow, about one o'clock, come on, you eyes, keep believing.